Good morning. Welcome to the Windsor Star News Cafe. I'm Don MacArthur here with Dylan Christie. We're in the home stretch. Uh, it's a Friday election in a couple of days. We're here. He's back. Angelo Marignani, you're running in Windsor's Ward 7. That's right. East Riverside in Forest Glade. Okay. And uh, boom, only a couple of days left. How are you approaching it? Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going full steam ahead. It was a marathon. We started on uh, July 18th and uh, this is the 24th mile and it's now a sprint. It's, uh, it's, going, uh, it's going well. The responses are well. So what does that mean? You're just making sure you're out there, longer days? Well, you know what? It's really hard to hit every, every family in the ward. Uh, I've done this two times before. This is my third time running. And uh, it, really is, uh, it really is an effort to try to engage everyone, every family. So I mean, uh, at this point in time, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to every, every home. Uh, and I'm going back to the homes that I weren't home when I knocked on the first time. So. Uh, I just want to uh, reach out and talk to as many residents as possible, first and foremost. I think that's the most important thing. Perfect. Well, one thing that's got to help you, uh, start calling with Chris Vanderdoll and actually endorsed you for that award, uh, saying that you have the business experience, uh, he thinks you're a great candidate for, uh, for the position. Uh, that's got to be feel pretty great. Oh yeah, I mean, that was, uh, that was really pleasant to see. Uh, uh, I, I read Chris's articles and uh, his columns all the time, and uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, he, uh, he felt that I was the candidate for uh, East Riverside and Forest Glade, but mind you, there were other endorsements as well. For example, Tom Wilson, Robin Forche, uh, uh, Steve. Councilor Tom Wilson, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He actually endorsed me, and uh, Stavros. And a lot of the people who were in the by-election uh, actually uh, have given me their written endorsements. So that was kind of... Which is, was Wilson ran in the by-election, too. That's right. Okay. He came in third. So uh, that was really nice to see that... Uh, all these people that we were, uh, I was sort of competing against during the by-election actually stepped forward and said, you know, we really feel that you are the person uh, for Ward 7 for East Riverside and Forest Glade. And that was nice. And, you know, uh, my wife's endorsement always. Uh, <laughs> yeah, always yeah. The one that matters. The okay. one that really matters. And you know what? I think oftentimes, uh, like in this campaign, something that's never really spoken about is uh, the family really gets involved, too. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, that's good to see too because there's uh, every, it's not just one individual who's doing this, it's an entire family, an entire group. So I just want to say thank you to, uh, to all the candidates that are running, but also at this time, at this point in time, let's acknowledge all the, the families that are behind these, uh, these individuals that are really giving them uh, help and, uh, and you know, that motivation to continue on. Those are the endorsements that really matter, the families. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Fair enough. So now you you know you, you live and you raise your family in Ward Seven. You also run a successful business uh, downtown, very artsy, very uh, cool uh, milk. Right. Um, so just give us a perspective on what the city needs to do to help small business owners like yourself. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that have to be done. We have to streamline the bureaucracy in City Hall first. The permit. Uh, all the permit process at that point in time. We have to become more business friendly. And that, that would include using more uh, community incentive programs, I believe. Uh, but at the same time, we have to improve the, uh, the quality of, of our city, that curbside appeal. I think that's, we spoke about that last time, and I think that's very, very important, is that, uh, that first impression we have when we come into the city of Windsor. Investors, newcomers, families who come here for the very first time, they have to see that first impression has to be, wow, here's an area that's clean and safe, here's an area that shows quality of life. Uh, the housing is reasonable. Uh, you know, the travel time to my uh, my place of work is is short relative to other Canadian cities. These are great features that we really have to promote, and I feel that uh, by promoting those, uh, that will help business and investors uh, come into our community. But what's really key is is trying to get more businesses because that really adds to our tax base, uh, which gives us more stability as far as our uh, our taxes and our revenue that allow us to. Uh, move forward and put those amenities out there that improve the quality of life, such as, uh, you know, making sure that uh, when you, let's say you go into Forest Glade uh, from, from Banwell Road and you're turning into Wildwood, you're greeted by uh, a boulevard that has three dead trees and weeds that are waist high. Uh, we have to we have to maintain that sort of curbside appeal because it's a bad impression at first, and then you come around in Wildwood uh, Wildwood Park, for example. Um, there's no trees there. There's one bench, one garbage can, and uh, so it's these little amenity things that I think are going to be attractive that are going to make businesses realize that hey, listen, 
uh, Windsor is a great place to locate, and uh, and uh, you know uh, we have to really we have to pick we have to focus on those low line fruits, those easy picking fruits that will make our city a better place. What about for the arts? Is there anything that you'd like to see the city do or kind of step up to help uh, foster and encourage uh, arts in the community? Oh, very much so. Yeah, I mean arts, arts first and foremost it is one of those uh, attractions that are going to bring our, our youth and uh, young families to this area. When you come into, uh, for example, when you go to a lot of uh, world-class cities, for example, Chicago, you see street art everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as you're walking through that city, you, you feel a certain appreciation for the city. It's attractive. And I believe that if we were to uh, nurture the creative spirit of Windsorites, uh, that would then manifest itself into a, a stronger business community. Uh, because People just don't work. Uh, people also play. When they play, they want to be surrounded by things of beauty, I think. So uh, art is a very big part of it. Uh, you can attract uh, major industries to our city, but if there's nothing for them to do, such as uh, a no Windsor Symphony or no Art Gallery of Windsor or even uh, no amenities in our parks, mm -hmm. there's really nothing. So what we have to do is we have to, purchase, uh, we have to nurture that, uh, that creative spirit, and in doing so, I believe that will... Uh, bring our city, uh, make our city more attractive and uh, we'll do better as a result of it. Well, I can just tell you this, uh, the very first piece of art uh, I ever bought uh, was hanging on the wall uh, in Milk, Bob Art. You know, ah, that guy does a lot of, of stuff. Because, of, yeah. of course, you host a lot of local artists on your walls and, yeah. uh, you know, you, you cycle through it and people can buy it. So you've certainly done your bit. And shall we got we got to wrap this up. We've got a full slate, so we want to over to you, to the voters of Windsor, the voters of Ward 7, make your, make your pitch. Okay, very good. Um, once again, uh, my name is Angelo Marignani. I'm running for Ward 7 City Council. This is my third time running. I'm very committed to this cause, uh, and I feel that the issues that the residents are telling me that are most important are first our job creation and our economic diversification. In economic diversification, I would like to see more small business as well as uh, more attention being paid towards health care. Uh, we have a growing senior population, and unfortunately we don't have the uh, the services that are necessary to give our seniors that security. Infrastructure is another key element of our, uh, of our improvement and I think what we should be focusing on there is the amenities that make our city beautiful and attractive which includes uh, better, uh, better pathways, better dedicated bike paths, as well as improving that initial image or that uh, first impression of Windsor, that curbside appeal, we really have to make it attractive. As far as our taxes are concerned, we have to watch our spending. So I don't want to see uh, a road being torn up to, be, to put in a sewer and then a couple years later we come back and we tear up that road again. We have to communicate better amongst our departments so that we can avoid these inefficiencies in our costs. And uh, as far as utilities are concerned, you know, we really have to take a serious look at that to uh, help our, our seniors and our families on fixed incomes. I believe uh, those are the three main issues, jobs, infrastructure and our taxes and that's what I'm going to focus on day to day but there's also one more thing that I think is really important and that is as well as being uh, communicating and engaging with the residents when a resident calls and you have a problem it is my duty and responsibility to to solve that problem effectively and efficiently and I think in small business I'll go into uh, my business there'll be three scenarios or three situations that have to be uh, dealt with immediately and you have to prioritize which one's important you have to deal with it and then move on to the next one uh, so I believe that my business experience uh, gives me that 15 years gives me that uh, uh, that ability to deal with issues uh, when they arise and to deal with them effectively and I intend on dealing with uh, the residents and the issues and making sure that our city is uh, is Windsor proud? Is Windsor great? We we do live in a great city. Excellent. Well, best of luck getting through this home stretch. Hopefully, you'll Thank be you. cracking open a bottle of absinthe that to celebrate at when all this is said and Actually, done. Actually, there's there's been a there's a bottle of champagne that's been sitting in my uh, fridge now for uh, four years. Oh wow! So uh, hopefully, we'll be opening it up this weekend. Okay. Well, good luck, Angelo. Uh, thanks for joining us on Trail Talk. Uh, we're in the Windsor Star News Cafe. Thank you.